Why, hello there everybody, it is I, Docile from the Light Looker Society, and today I'm going to be telling you why I created the Light Looker Society, as well as, the, as well as just some little tidbits about it. Okay, so, the, what is the Light Looker Society? Well, the Light Looker Society is, is a band that, I, that was created because, well, there's many girl groups out there, such as the Spice Girls, Blackpink, TLC, Fifth Harmony, and whatever. My favorite type of girl group are those ones where it's like the overly cutesy give your eyes diabetes aesthetics but the problem is not many are like that these days the only ones I can think of are XOMG Pop, 5050 who did the Cupid song and the Caramello Girls which I don't think even exist anymore and there's also the K-pop groups but the thing is not many K-pop groups have that sweet aesthetic at least not to the extent as, as let's say XOMG Pop so I wanted to create one of those to fill that void. But here's the problem. If I did, it wouldn't be a girl group because I'm a guy. It would just be a normal band. So I decided to create the Light Looker Society as like a kind of girl group that just happens to have a guy, if you know what I mean. Kind of like the scene. You know the scene with Selena Gomez? Selena Gomez is female, but all the other members are male. But this is the exact opposite. I'm a guy while all the other members of the Light Looker Society are female. So, what I did is I went to an old singer hiring site to search for some singers that could be other members. Although voice didn't matter, I was looking for like cute, playfully sounding voices. Like, cute and playful. Don't know how the best way to describe that. Until I found the one, the only, ovial damsel. Well, I call it damsel because as you know, we have docile damsel and daisy. So... What I discovered, she had a, a very cute cover of the song, The One That Got Away by Katy Perry, that, that I could best describe as just playfully trying to sing soulfully. It was a mixture of cute and mesmerizing, so I jumped at the chance. She was in the band, baby. She was in the band. At first it was just me and her, but I wanted to be at least two voices, especially during at the end where I wanted there to be a chorus where they sung together. And then I eventually found Daisy. Daisy was a little more professional than Damsel. Because Dems only had a couple of audio clips, and also she has hardly any social media presence outside of the website where I found her. Daisy has a bunch of other things, such as a YouTube channel and, uh, and a TikTok, and pretty much just a bunch of stuff. So, I grabbed her. Now, here's the th thing. Th it's only the three of us. However, there were originally going to be four members, one, two, three, four with me keeping the name H-Boy and the girls being called Docile, Damsel, and Daisy. However, the problem is the, th the fourth girl ditched on me because quote-unquote girly pop is not her kind of thing. So she literally just sent me to... So she said, that's like she said, I'm not the right kind of singer for this kind of song because what I did is I got... First I got Damsel's voice, then I sent Damsel's voice to Daisy, and then I was going to send their voices to the third girl. But the problem was after the third girl heard that, she was like, nope, not for me not doing it, you're on your own. Okay, she didn't say that. It was more professional, like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I took a look. Unfortunately, this isn't my kind of thing. I'm sorry, but I'm a good sport when it comes to that kind of thing, and I decided not to. But I, however, I could have kept searching. However, the thing was, if I kept searching, the release date would be pushed way too far. Like, it came out just a couple of months back, I think a month ago, but the problem was, it would have came sooner if it wasn't for all that, but nah, to each their own. How, and how did I come, and so that's how, I, how the band got together. So it turned out to be a trio, and the reason why I adopted the name Docile is because it's the le out of the three it was the least girly sounding. For example, Damsel's very girly, and Daisy, not as girly as Damsel, because Damsel literally means girl, but Docile doesn't sound feminine, wouldn't have that kind of connection, so that's why I created that. So that's the story of that. Now time for the um, song. So as you know, our first, as you know, we've only done one song together called the Duo Girls. It started off with a 49 note code I made on a Casio CTK, a Casio CTK electric keyboard. In fact, the same one I used for Bump and Splash. However, the thing was, it wasn't... The reason why I came up with the name Duo Girls is because 
I was the I was the lyricist for that. I was the lyricist while while the melody and the vocals were created by the girls. Actually, no, no, that was not the case. I created the lyrics and the vocalist, and pretty much I just hired the girls. They're just employees for me practically. Although they're not permanent employees, I'll probably just each time the Lalo Society performs, will probably be a different people. But eh. It's like the gorillas. You know how the gorillas, Damon Albine is the only permanent member while the others just um, change per album? The Light Look Society is probably going to be like that too. But what can I say? So this, how, how did I come up with the name Do Our Girls? Well, I used to think, you know the song Spill the Wine by Eric Burr? And I always thought he was saying do wine instead of spill the wine. So that's how I came up with that. So, And that is eventually what it would be called. So that's currently how the first song by the Light Looker Society came to be. We might do more in the future. Like what I was thinking of doing is maybe taking some of my older songs and repurposing them as Light Looker Society songs. And if I do that, I hope you'll enjoy. But if you don't, then well, that's not my problem. See you later.